Hey, what's good, YouTube? It's your boy, the Asian Dark Magician, back at it again with a spicy deck profile for you guys. So, um, today we're going to be featuring uh, Harpies, and this is going to be updated after the ban list, the July 2019 ban list, as well as the um, release of Harpies Conductor from the new set. Look at that beauty. Yes, she did get, I mean, Harpies did get a lot better. Well, not a lot better, but it did get better um, because of the release of this card, the uh, Conductor. So, um... Yeah, without further ado, um, let's get into the deck profile, guys. Uh, yeah, so let's, of course, shoot. Oops, I didn't want you guys to see that. Anyways, let's go. Obviously, uh, we're running, obviously, our triple hoppy conduct, uh, ch I mean, channeler. Oh, conducted got in my mind. <laughs> so yeah, harpy channeler, um, s uh, standard mandatory. So I'm not gonna really explain much, uh, because basically, if you're a Harpies player, you should really know um, what these cards already do. Um, triple Perfumer, probably one of the best Harpy cards to run at three right now, in my opinion. Next, we are running Triple Harpist, uh, also self-explanatory. And the only reason why I'm not gonna explain much is because uh, I don't want this video to go too long as it can get pretty long according to my according to my last previous videos so i'm just i'm just a neat freak i'm just trying to straight uh, straight straighten those cards <laughs> anyways that's it uh for the three of's from the harpy and for the harpy engine um next i'm running two harpy queen uh, she's pretty much sure terraforming and a 1900 beat stick um, that's pretty much what harpy queen is and it's very very sexy as an ultimate rare i know you guys see saw my last the glare but anyways saw my last deck profile but i did run three and i dropped it down to two because um i found it to be honest i think i find it a little bit more consistent with two so i can add more cards uh, <clears throat> uh especially the new newer cards that i have in this uh deck profile anyways without further ado let's keep going i got two harpy lady ones um some people run one some people run three i like i like it at two but so yeah Ooh, the glare. Oh, well, it doesn't matter. One side of Harpy Lady. So, if you, you can run three Harpy Lady 1s, and or you can run two Harpy Lady 1s and one side of Harpy Lady, which is what I'm opting to do, because she's an 1800 B-Stick, and it's a beautiful... This is a beautiful Retro Pack 1 Secret Rare, guys. So, I mean, what can you do? I have to play it. You know what I mean? And not only that, she's searchable through Elegant Egotist as well. Because she's always treated as Harpy Lady, not just on the field and in the graveyard. And the other tech, one of the techs I'm running is, and I got this idea from, I forgot who it was, but I did get this idea from someone. Um, the Barrier Statue of the Stormwinds. This card is actually really, really good in this meta because not that many meta decks uh, are Wind Attribute, right there. And this card just literally locks decks down. Um, I've won a lot of games. Um, with this card just being on the field and they just can't get over it because when you once you get these two out and then you can protect it with like um, Your traps and other cards, you know, and I, if they can't get over this then they won't be able to win Plus this this deck is really getting rid really good at getting rid of back row as well. So you don't really have to worry about that as much um, <clears throat> Sorry, I just got it from work. So my voice is a little bad, but yeah, this card is freaking MVP right now I suggest you guys play this in a competitive stamp from a competitive standpoint so yeah, one barrier statue. Once you beef it up, it's gonna be hard to get over. And for the last cards, we are running some sort of hand traps. I believe it's a um, it's really good. It's obviously the Ash Blossom. Sorry, these are commons. My secret rares are being run in my um, Dark Magician decks right now. Oh, in my Dark Magician deck. Um, so yeah, I'm opt. Oops, I'm opting to run uh, three commons for now, I guess. Um, but yes, Ashes is still one of the best hand traps. Uh, present day so yeah that's it for the monsters should be 18 monsters and let me get rid of the fuel for you guys and we're going moving on to the spells Oops. all right that's it for the monsters for the spells we are running what was that triple these sh these are proxies right now but i'm i was really hoping for a reprint for a part of extravagance but um yeah, these should be part of extravagance. These are still the fake ones or the proxies I'm using. Kind of sad, but um, yeah, it is what it is. These should be uh, 
these three are technically extravagances. I believe this deck needs some sort of draw power. And part of extravagances kind of fixes that problem. You can also run desires as well, but I really like desires in this deck for some reason. So I'm opting to run um, uh, extravagances. But you can run desires if you want. Anyways, going on, running to our field spell, our Harpy's Hunting Ground. This is technically why you don't really need Harpy's Felon Duster. I know it's banned, but this is technically why. Um, two is enough. Three is kind of, I don't. I've never seen a situation where I need three before, so um, I only need so I'm, that's why I'm running, running two. <clears throat> Moving on, we are running I or I am running triple elegant egotist. Uh, this card just like um, board spams. Uh, oh shoot, I don't want to show that, but anyways, um, this card kind of board spams um, your 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 field. My bad, I'm having a brain fart. <laughs> anyways. Uh, <laughs> it kind of uh, spams your board once you have Harpy's Harpy Lady on the field, and yeah, that's pretty much what I run. And if it's a dead card in your hand, you can always ditch it. You know, there's always some way you can ditch it, and I'll show you one of the ways. Uh, one of the ways of how to do it. Um, through Hysteric Sign, this is self-explanatory as well. It's pretty much a staple in Harpy decks because we were running the Bear Statue. I decided to use a triple ties of, the ties of the Brethren to get it out faster. 2,000 life points is not a big deal, to be honest. Um, yeah. Oh, of course, for you guys who don't know what it does, let me read you guys the effect. Pay 2,000 life points, obviously. Then target one level 4 or lower monster you control. For the rest of the turn after this card resolves, you cannot special summon monsters. Also, special summon two monsters from your deck with the same type, attribute, and level as that monster, but with different names from each other and that monster. You cannot conduct your battle phase the turn you activate this card. So you draw this turn one, um, you pretty much can lock down your opponent from special summoning monsters, any monsters to be honest, unless you're playing a mirror match, uh, which is kind of not rare, but like not too frequent at the same time, because I I mean, at my locals, I don't really encounter that that much. So, um, yeah, you pretty much open up this with turn one. Um, it's it's really, really good. Yeah, you can easily win the duel, of, depending on how you play the deck. And the last tech card I'm running is one card destruction. This is one of the cards that I really, 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 really like as a tech. And can really get... It, it's good at getting rid of dead cards like e Elegant Egotist and pretty much any cards in your hand to start anew and kind of, um, you know, uh, kind of start fresh and build your board. <clears throat> Sorry about that. But you're boring, you can push for game. Or depending on how you play. But yeah, one card destruction. So yeah, I don't know how many spells that was. Three, five, eight. Three, five, eight. Eleven, fourteen. Fifteen spells. So it should be seven traps, I believe. Yeah, it should be seven. So that's it for the spells, guys. Oops. It's a little messy. We're at uh, eight minutes. Wow. Anyways, now we're running for the the best trap cards. The best trap card in this deck, Harpy Feather Storm. This card is just so good, guys, because it's a technically a hand trap. But you have a harpy. You control a win winged beast uh, on the field. So yeah, it's really really good. You need to run this at three if you're not you're not playing harpies correctly. And next we're running a uh, two hysteria party. This is technically a soul charge for harpies, to be honest. Um, yeah. Self-explanatory. And the last two two traps I'm running are um, maybe a little weird, but not that many people did see it, saw it coming, is two Solemn Judgments. The recent ban list this, did make this unlimited, and the reason why I'm running two copies of Solemn Judgment, I don't know if you guys see this with like the nice faded Solemn Judgment, but yeah. It's also in mid condition too, so it's pretty cool. That's why I decided to run it. Anyways, uh, two Solemn Judgments. The reason I'm running two Solemn Judgments instead of like Strikes, uh, over strikes or or solemn warnings because this card never dies and it can easily save you and win games it's just so good not to run right now i would run three to be honest if i had a if i had room but um, yeah this card it never dies on the field and it can protect you from your opponent any of your opponent's cards um so yeah that's why i decided to run two i would run three if i had room but two judgments would be good so yeah that's it for the deck profile, uh, for the main deck. Uh, should be 40 cards. 
<clears throat> next, obviously, we're running to we're going on to the extra deck. As you may have guessed already, I am running two Harpy Conductor uh, from the new set. Uh, this card is really, really good. Uh, it kind of like boosts Harpies up in a way um, that I did not expect. So yeah, it's really cheap too. So you guys want to run Harpies? Get them while they last because they're I got them for like three bucks. It's really really cheap. So yeah, one great fly. I used to run two great flies. I bumped it down to one because of one harpy conductor. <clears throat> I'm moving on now. I'm only running exceeds. To be honest, these are pretty much the staple the staple package for links for harpies. Um, but now I'm running the the two lightning chidori. Uh, that's pretty self explanatory. <clears throat> To Zerfane, this is technically a skill drain for Harpies. And it's, Harpies is one of the only decks I can run it, so yeah. It's the uh, added benefit. Uh, one uh, Utopia, or should I say the Utopia package, the Lightning. And one Castell, pretty good for a new rank 4. Abyss Dweller. Um, next are pretty much generic uh, rank 4s. Um, Bambooza. Babuska, my bad. Go, go, go. Cowboy for game. Um, uh, Rebellion XYZ Dragon because it can get really, really big. And one Tornado Dragon. And that is it for the deck profile, guys. I really hope you guys enjoyed this deck profile. Sorry, I just go, got back home from work and I decided to make this like immediately. So I am really, really exhausted. But I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the deck profile. Please make sure to follow me on Instagram at DMG's Bay. Um, also, in addition, please subscribe to my channel, um, like, like this video, uh, to support your boy, and comment it, and tell me what I need to fix, uh, any suggestions, I, obviously you hobby players out there, um, I really appreciate it, and, um, yeah, it's your boy, the Asian Dark Magician, signing out, later guys, have a good day.